Hi everybody, I'm Grace here. Today we are going to discuss about a beautiful topic which will enhance your public speaking skill. So I'm going to speak my mind today. So before that, I want to give you some tips how to become a very good public speaker without fear. Yeah, so here are some tips. First, you have to set your mind to speak at least for 10 minutes. If you speak less than 10 minutes, then you may have less ideas to expose. If you speak more than, if you speak for more than 10 minutes, you can speak something from your heart and soul. So today I'm going to speak from my mind so I can recall the incident, a moment, a humorous moment which happened when I attended the interview in a company. So when I went there, I was about to cross my leg. So when I crossed my leg, immediately one of my slippers uh, flew off in the opposite side, which was noticed by the interviewer and uh, uh, she felt a little embarrassed uh, because of the situation. Uh, anyhow, I regained my composure to and manage the situation and this is how I managed a crucial situation but I didn't de get a job due to this problem so uh, uh, despite the mess up I uh, laughed at myself and I started to learn a lesson from um, uh, little incidents some humorous incidents so this is actually a humorous moment which impressed me a lot and which made me to change my mistakes and also I corrected my mistakes um, and I uh, went for the next interview and then I got selected and I got, a, got placed in a very good position. So this is the experience I had before 10 years. Anyhow, you can also remember an incident and try to use some phrases. So even you can try using some phrases like things took a turn and uh, something happened immediately and uh, some uh, interruption happened uh, like as, uh, as one of my slippers uh, flew off in the opposite side and uh, it made the interviewer to feel embarrassed. So you can add some interesting phrases like this. So let me list out the phrases whichever I have been using throughout my conversation, I mean throughout my narration. Anyhow I will just uh, bring it in front of your sight. So better you can have these phrases like uh, I still chuckle. So I have used this one at the beginning of my uh, narration so I think uh, uh, chuckle means like uh, continue to laugh in a funny manner so anyhow chuckle is a new word so you can use it and also things took a turn so what does it mean like uh, something happened something happened uh, embarrassingly so you could uh, say in that way so you thought something uh, to be successful but uh, some negative thing happened so this is the meaning of this phrase and one more uh, I think one more word I have added like um, um, I think I have used one more word I could not remember that if you are able to remember that word you can just uh, list it on my comment section so that I can check your answer and give you response as soon as possible. Anyhow, so this is the way you have to choose a topic every day and bring add new vocabularies to your narration. So when you start adding new vocabularies to your narration, you, you can easily improve your public speaking skill. You can easily overcome your fear and you can easily focus the, focus the audience and uh, don't try to correct your mistakes whenever you start speaking, whenever you start narrating a story or a moment. When you start correcting your mistakes on the spot instantly, sometimes you may not be focusing on your goal. I mean, goal means uh, you may not be able to focus on your conversation or your narration. So stop focusing on your mistake, try to focus on your goal, uh, how you are going to complete this narration successfully with new vocabularies. Try to use some familiar words instead of using unfamiliar words. When you start using unfamiliar words, you could uh, forget the words sometimes. So when you start, um, you know, start um, giving time to recall the things it will take time so that's why people love using same words but when you start using same words your speech it would be totally boring so if you want to make if you want to make your speech more interesting then you have to add many vocabularies new vocabularies 
uh, I mean, unfamiliar words uh, into your conversation or into your narration. So these are the tips I can give you how to enhance your English fluency uh, when you choose uh, different titles. So we try to choose different titles and start speaking for 10 minutes as I'm doing now. Anyhow, here I have chosen a topic like a humorous moment which uh, uh, embarrassed somebody and uh, even it made myself to laugh at at, uh, at me. Anyhow, so anyhow, you can also try narrating a humorous incident which uh, uh, provoked you to laugh and which made someone to get angry, even uh, you made someone to get embarrassed or even you made someone to get angry at you. So these kind of situations can uh, attract the audience and uh, the, those incidents can also um, stay in your mind always. So, because even now I have started speaking about humorous moment and I love talking about that because, you know, the humorous moment can, cannot be forgotten uh, because uh, we love remembering such kind of moments always. Yeah, anyhow, so today I have chosen a very beautiful topic and I have started speaking about that. So, we call this technique as riffing technique. Riffing means giving different topics and choosing different titles every day and speaking about the title. So, you can choose different topics and start uh, practicing this idea every day so that you can gain beautiful words, new words and uh, familiar words and unfamiliar words into your narration. So when you start speaking, uh, when you start choosing different topics, you can add different vocabularies. So every day you can gain different words, multiple words and you can add merit to your narration skill. So we call this technique as riffing. Riffing means repeating something constantly and making your brain to become more strong when you talk with somebody and this is the way I have been gaining confidence and I talk to myself we call this therapy a self-talk therapy every day I have to stand in front of camera and start speaking to yourself replay your recording and find out your mistakes like after recording so don't do it on the spot when you start finding your mistakes you will lose your goal you, you will lose your focus so if you want to have uh, your conversation or narration to be focused then you must have confidence about your speech before starting and you have to end up your conversation with confidence with same level confidence so that's what I'm trying to say so I hope this video and this moment would also help you to uh, recollect your experience or your memories or good or bad whatever it may be try to share with me on my comment section I will check your homework and I will get back soon anyhow if you want to join Join our possible English online course. Okay, we are going to start new batch on 5th November tomorrow. So we have you have only one day to go. So if you want to join fast, please enroll your name. Okay, uh, towards this WhatsApp number, you can just chat with me and you can inquire about the activities which we have been training people. So I'm the only tutor. I have been training everyone all over the world. And if you want to um, be a member of Possible English or if you want to be a student of Possible English, you can reach out to this WhatsApp number immediately and get enrolled soon. Anyhow, if you want to crack IELTS with high band, so I recommend you to join Possible English course very quickly and you can bring the best results soon. Bye, all the best.